All right, in this uh, video, I would like to um, process or uh, talk about process, uh, talk about a couple different things. First, plasticity, um, which is a remarkable feature in our brains themselves. And then the second one uh, is what's pictured on the right here is uh, the corpus callosum and how it plays and what it is uh, actually um, helped us to learn about the brain itself. So first, plasticity. Uh, our brain has an incredible capacity to wire, um, wire on the fly when it's damaged. And so uh, the whole idea of plasticity, we've learned a, a lot more about as a result of um, some of the things we've done and watched with kids who have had hemispherectomies. In other words, the little girl that's pictured in your book uh, has uh, half of her brain uh, taken out, and the rest of the brain uh, then is rewires itself to accomplish certain ideas. So th this, this idea is uh, the, the idea of rewiring, but there is a ceiling to this rewiring idea. Um, there are two key components that are important to understand. First, um, severed, uh, severed neurons do not regenerate. Um, and, and we see that uh, in, in uh, spinal cord damage. Um, they don't regenerate. And there, oftentimes there's a lot of conflicting uh, ideas about uh, that, but severed neurons don't regenerate. And then secondly, the idea here is that some brain functions um, can be reassigned, uh, or uh, I should say are pre-assigned. So some brain functions are actually brain functions themselves, which we oftentimes will um, attest in neuropsychology, is brain functions uh, are pre-assigned, and, and that is key to understand um, because then when certain areas don't work, we know exactly what area to actually look at. So uh, the, the, when we talk about uh, plasticity, we are talking about reorganization. Uh, reorganization. It is not a re-creation. Uh, it simply is the idea that uh, the, the brain can rewire itself uh, into other areas that are undamaged. So when damaged areas are, are detected and the brain cannot um, uh, operate in that area, then essentially it sends signals to undamaged areas. And, and that's uh, part of this idea of um, part of the idea of the, uh, the plasticity. Uh, the remarkable nature of, of our neurons or our brain is the, f the fact that it can actually do that. Part of the debate currently that I would uh, bring to your attention uh, is really this debate, and I'm sure you probably have heard it, you may even roll your eyes when I say it, but um, the embryonic stem cell, embryonic uh, stem cell debate. Now, for the most part, uh, I think you have to ask the question, where do they come from? Well, usually, not always, but a lot of the time, they come from aborted fetuses or aborted embryos. And th the remarkable thing about these is that um, stem cells uh, are kind of template cells. So they are really, um, uh, they are really able to uh, create other cells that uh, go on. So it, it, it is a process, what these uh, neurons or these uh, stem cells actually do is something that's oftentimes referred to as uh, neurogenesis. Uh, 
And neurogenesis is basically the creation, genesis is the start, is the beginning of neurons. And these templates, are, uh, these stem cells are, are uh, a lot of people would make a case that they are key to be able to uh, create uh, new cells that perhaps would uh, allow people to survive uh, um, uh, uh, spinal cord injuries. And, and uh, Michael J. Fox is also, uh, is also quite an outspoken um, advocate of stem cells to help people with Parkinson's disease because of the deterioration in the brain. Um, the, 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 the key to keep in mind here is that uh, the stem cells, the embryonic stem cells, what we're beginning to find out is adult st stem cells are every bit as pliable as embryonic. Um, th that there is uh, still developing research around that issue, but it is key to understanding that one of these things, you can read this text and read through this area, even on page 76 where they talk about uh, the, the whole idea of self-repair and reorganizing and so forth. And what gets mentioned is the stem cell. But you need to be sure to put this in the context of our, of our country and what's going on in the debate. Um, because it's this kind of stuff that comes home very quickly. It's not just out there. It's not part of politics. It's not part of the societal debate, although it is. But there is a uh, preconceived um, uh, preconceived notion about embryos, <laughs> and embryos being um, uh, tissue, body tissue, versus embryos being babies, um, pre-born, pre developed or, or in process developing um, human beings. So, uh, just just a highlight for you to understand this whole debate at present.